Hello everyone and welcome. In this new DV theme tutorial, I'll be discussing the customizable visual builder and what it can do in terms of making it easier for you to design awesome looking websites. So let's dive in and let me show you the updates. Right, so right now I've loaded my uh, page and by the way, if you'd like this layout, I'm giving it away for free. So I'll leave a link in the show notes below. Right, so I want to start off by enabling the visual builder. Now, if you just take a look at uh, the, the, the visual builder, you may not notice the difference. So you have to pay attention here. So over here right at the bottom, we have this uh, expand settings. If you click on that. So if you take a look at the bottom left here, you'll notice that we have these three little circles. If you click on them, now you have the customizable builder toolbar. So here we can activate these settings and you can see as I'm clicking on them they're now on the bottom here okay so now that I've activated them I'm just gonna go ahead now and close right so let me explain these first so the first one here is the hover mode this is what we had before so the additions now to this are the click mode okay and I'll be showing you how the click mode, uh, click mode works and finally we have the grid mode so right now we are in the hover mode so as before, you just hover and you just go in, make your changes. Right, so sometimes in the hover mode, you will get things overlapping. And um, oftentimes, you now resort to coming over here to the wireframe view in order for you to precisely select what you're trying to select. Okay, so let me just disable this. Right, so now that we have this uh, grid view and click mode, it makes things a lot easier. So let me show you that. So now I'm going to activate the click mode. So I'm going to click on click mode. So now with click mode activated, when I start hovering, you'll start noticing something different. Now we have the color of the modules now really showing you the outline of where everything is or where it starts and ends. So here I can see that my um, module here uh, start and ends there. So what happens now is if I need to uh, adjust that module, if I click on it, right, everything sort of like freezes and your options for that particular uh, module has now been activated. Okay, so you click on the gear icon, for example, and you do all your changes uh, in here, save, and that's done. So there's no more overlapping. And again, if I hover over uh, to the side, I can see now that what is activated now is my row. So if I click on it, anywhere in that, in, in that boundary, if I click on it, it now shows me my options. So I'm going to go into my row settings. And, ag and again, you can always come in here, click on sizing. You can make this full width if you want, or you can make it custom width, make your changes like that, and then save. Right, so you can see now it makes things a lot easier. Now, let's move on to the grid mode. So if I come over here to the grid mode, it now shows me everything by default. So now with my grid mode selected, it pretty much shows me everything on the page. So now I can just visually see how things are supposed to be. Like for example here, this text, uh, this call to action module is actually better if it's centered. So without this grid mode, I couldn't see that that needed to be centered that way. So if I scroll here again, you can see everything is all highlighted and I can see exactly where, uh, where I am with this. And again, it makes it easier for me now to make some adjustments. So if I need to add some padding here, we can see that it's easier now to add my padding. So these, these updates are actually very good if you prefer using the visual editor, which I highly recommend because it has a lot more going on for it. So let's say you want to disable this and you want to stop using it altogether. So all you have to do is to come over here, click here and disable it right here like that. And then you're just back to normal. But like I say, there are advantages of using the customizable visual builder. Okay, so there you have it. Go ahead and start using the customizable visual builder. So if you're brand new to Divi and you'd like to take your design skills to the next level, I have a course which has a massive discount. So all that information will be provided in the show notes below. So go ahead, check it out. And so if you're brand new to web design altogether, I have an introductory course to WordPress mastery, which I'm giving away for free again all this information is in the show notes below. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care.